There's a twilight feel to one of the main indoor markets in downtown Caracas, but it's actually the middle of the day. Like everywhere else in the entire country, there is no power. The only light is in the fishmongers. They're the only ones here with a generator. The butcher's shops are mainly shuttered and empty. In some, though, the meat is just rotting away. Fruit and veg is available, but only with a bank card if they can get a signal or US dollars. The country's hyperinflation means there's basically no local money, certainly not enough you could find to pay for anything. Rosa Gonzalez says this is a disaster. The fruit and vegetables are rotting without light and coolers. We are accepting dollars. Lots of people come with dollars. We're also accepting euros and bank transfers. Sometimes we let people take the food and come back and pay another day. And if they don't come back, well, that's how it is. Everyone is affected in Venezuela, and there's a sort of numb shock in everyone we meet. When you go to this kind of uh, mercado, mm -hmm. you, you, they sell you the food by divisas or cash. Right. Um, uh, money in cash. And nobody has cash. No. Some of these places, you know, I have been in my house three days without water, without food, without TV, without electricity, and also uh, without communication. This is now the longest nationwide power outage in world history. What was normally considered an absolute given in this society is falling apart and not slowly. This is the country with the largest known reserves of oil in the world. They barely charge for it, but without power, you can't get it. It's sort of priceless now. This is the cube for one of the garages with a generator. It's miles long. Driving around the city, it's easy to see how things can fall apart. Long tunnels and out pitch dark. Communications and telephone systems have collapsed. On motorways, cars simply pull over if they find a place with a signal. People now stand in line outside supermarkets, not to go in. They're just hoping that it will eventually open. The political chaos here could soon be eclipsed by this increasingly dangerous national disaster. <laughs>